Ethan. Here's the coffee you wanted. What is this, your third cup of the day? Don't kill me, but I'm actually going to go out for coffee instead. By going out for coffee, do you mean meeting somebody for coffee? My, aren't we a little nosy today? What kind of assistant would I be if I wasn't in your business? Touche. Are you meeting him? If by him you mean Shane, then yes, I am meeting him. How cute! A coffee date! We are just friends, nothing more.
There's an attraction there. You can't deny it. No, I won't deny it, but I gotta be respectful of him and Ethan. And plus, I have Sam. Yeah, I saw the lovely present that Sam gave you. Was that from last night or fresh this morning? Well, I'll take this cup since you're going out for something hot and steamy. And I'll push your lunch appointment back for you, too. Thank you, Sarah. You're the best. I know. Can I get you a coffee, Johnny? Um, not yet. I'm actually waiting on someone, but thank you, Katie. Who is this person that you're waiting for? You never come here with anyone. It's just a guy. Oh, is this a date? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, um, no, I guess not really. It, I don't know what this is just yet. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I see. Well, I'm going to be over there behind the counter when you're ready for a coffee. And um, I have my fingers crossed for you, my friend. Thank you, Katie. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, what happened to your lip? Ah, the joys of getting dressed in the dark and walking into an open door. What kind of coffee do you like, my treat? Uh, I actually don't really drink coffee. You're kidding, right? Oh, do I lose points? Well. No, but now I feel bad for inviting you here. We could have gone somewhere else. No, 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 it's fine. I'm sure they have other stuff besides coffee. Besides, I, um, uh, I just wanted to hang out. It didn't matter where. Well, they do have a fruity ice spritzer drink if you'd prefer. Sounds great. Love it. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, these are on the house. And by the way, he's adorable. Don't let this one slip through your fingers. Thank you so much. And trust me, I don't want him to slip through either. Aw, well go put on that charm of yours, go. Uh-oh, not the text you were hoping for? Nope, um, just Ethan. Uh, thanks for getting this. Uh, he's not gonna be home until later now. He's apparently having a great time. You took today off to hang out with him, didn't you? Yep. Well, then, no offense, but Ethan's an idiot. I know for a fact that if I woke up next to you every morning, I wouldn't want to get out of bed. Eh, trust me, I'm not all that. Uh, especially not to Ethan. All right, I got to ask. Why are you still dating him? <laughs> he is clearly cheating on you and just using you. Yeah, it's, um... Complicated. I got an extra venti, so I'm good for a while. I have no idea what that means, but I assume that means we aren't leaving until I tell you. You, sir, are correct. Start spilling the tea. <sighs> um, where to begin? Uh, yeah, um, Ethan has been cheating on me for a while now. And it's getting worse and worse to the point that, you know, he's basically doing it in front of me. It's like he's uh, rubbing it in my face. And the same goes for drinking. You know, worse and worse, and there's nothing I can do about it. I've tried interventions, he refuses therapy, and you know, his friends basically encourage it, and I just have to go with it. You know, there's, I don't know, I feel helpless, like I don't have a choice in the matter, and uh, I'm just learning to accept this as my inevitable future. What do you mean you don't have a choice in the matter? You most certainly do have a choice. You leave him. It's that simple. You don't deserve to live like this. No one does. It's not that simple, Jonathan. Then help me understand. What, is he blackmailing you or something? <laughs> no. Nothing like that, but, um, no. Then what? It's stupid, really. Try me. Okay, um, comes down to finances. Now, his car's under my name, so if I leave him, I'm either stuck paying two cars that I can't afford, or he takes the car, doesn't make payments, thus screwing up my credit. And we just bought a townhome together recently that 
neither of us can afford on our own, and selling it now will be a guaranteed financial loss. And not to mention the joint loans and the credit card that we share together. So, um, no, I'm stuck. I don't like it any more than you do, but, you know, I dug my grave and now I have to lay in it. I don't know what to say. Shane, I am so sorry. It's fine. I wish I had something that I could say to help, but I'm afraid I don't have anything remotely close. Yeah, no, honestly, it's, it's fine. You know, I've accepted it, but I appreciate you trying. Um, it's actually just nice to have somebody to talk to about it. I mean, Troy knows and has been trying to get me to leave Ethan for a while now, but, you know, I'm in too deep and he doesn't really want to hear it anymore. And I can't really blame him. Hey, whenever you need to talk, I'm here. And I just I wish I had something more helpful to say. Yeah, well, some things just can't be fixed. Some things are just permanently broken. Uh, but speaking of broken, uh, what's going on with you and Sam? <laughs> wow, and taken. Uh, sorry, I was just trying to get the focus off of me. And you know, since I opened up about me and Ethan, I figured uh, maybe you could tell me what's really going on between you and Sam. Maybe how you really got the busted lip. Uh, fair enough. Um, yeah, you're right. Sam and I clearly have some issues, but that's obvious to any onlooker at this point. You can tell me what's going on. No judgment. You know, unless you bring up the penguins again. <laughs> well, thank you for breaking the tension. Yeah. I was starting to think things were getting a little too serious in here. <laughs> All right, well, stop beating around the bush. You can trust me. Okay. Well, as you've noticed, Sam clearly has some behavior issues. You know, he can go from happy to sad, just like that. And he has his good days and he has his bad, but he won't believe any psychiatrist diagnosis and he won't take any medication, so what sucks is the good days are becoming fewer and fewer, and you know, his outbursts are becoming almost a daily thing to the point where they've gotten physical. So he did that to you? I brought home the wrong cereal from the grocery store. And he hit you because of that? No. He started yelling at me and then he told me that I never listened to him. And then he started hitting himself and I tried to stop him and he popped me in the mouth and told me to get off him. But that is the first time he's ever hit me in That's the That's still horrible. You know, not to sound like a broken record, but I'm so sorry, and I you know, wish I could offer something that was a little bit more comforting, but I guess really nothing uh, makes physical abuse any better. Yeah, that's fine. Physical wounds heal. It's the mental abuse that really takes its toll, but that's been there from the beginning. Oh, wait, other physical wounds? Uh, Nasa punches to the shoulder. He put his hand around my neck. What? One time, he put a cigarette out on my chest to wake me up. Jesus, does anyone know? My family does, but you know, when they tried to intervene, Sam gave me an ultimatum. He said, either I could have my family or him. And you chose Sam? I haven't seen my family in two years. Why? I mean, you had an out and you didn't take it? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now, where have I heard that before? Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, whatever it is, I'm here. I just feel like I need to take care of him. He was an out when we started dating, and when he did come out, his parents threw him out of the house. And he'd never been on his own before. And he's so messed up in the head that I'm worried that if someone isn't constantly looking out for him, that something bad is gonna happen to him. Yeah. And, I, and I know it's so dumb because I can leave whenever I want and not have any trouble, but I can't. I feel like I need to take care of him. I feel responsible. Jonathan, 
that is not dumb. I mean, that just goes to show how wonderful you are. I mean, you're willing to put others' priorities above your own, even when it's damaging to you. <laughs> I wish that Ethan had even a tenth of that quality. I wish that Ethan gave you everything you ever wanted. All I've ever wanted was pretty simple, just to wake up next to somebody that makes me so happy that I can't stop smiling. Yeah, well, it sounds like you are a bit of romantic as well. <laughs> I, mean, I try to be, but I haven't had the chance to be in a long time. Um, yeah. Not to circle back, but... Are you being safe? I mean, with all the sleeping around that Ethan's been doing? Oh, yeah. No worries there. Um, we haven't had sex in over a year, and I've been tested. All is good in the neighborhood. No, that's good to hear. I, I mean, it's still a sucky situation for you to be in, though. Yes. Yeah, well, you as well. So, in an alternate universe, we were both single. I definitely would have accepted your invitation for a date. Wait, really? Yeah. Why do you think I stalked you on Facebook? <laughs> well, I mean, I have my suspicions, but you know, I don't want to assume. I mean, yes, I was hoping you liked me, but you know, you know, I normally have my doubts because I don't know. I don't normally get that kind of attention. Normally, Ethan, because he's fun and outgoing, whereas I'm, I don't know, shy, boring, <laughs> and. I just don't normally have the same interests as most gay guys. Well, I find you very interesting. You have a much better personality than Ethan, and you're honest and caring and down to earth, which are all qualities that I like in guys. And you're pretty cute to look at, too. And you have the most amazing smile. Uh, I don't think I smile like this in a very long time. I just feel like in the past few years, I've been going through the motions of a relationship because I thought, you know, that's what I was supposed to do, but now... But now you feel like there's something out that was meant for you? I mean, is it crazy to have these kind of feelings after only knowing you for a month? Well, considering that I had feelings for you after you followed me in Troy's kitchen at that party, uh, then <laughs> I guess you consider me cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you don't drink coffee, and I am clearly a bit of an addict, so. That's yeah, that's gonna have to be a strike. Okay, all right, well, you got your first strike when you said you were a Penguins fan. I mean, you're from Philly. With the way fans are around here, I am shocked you haven't been shanked. Okay, I am not an idiot. I don't walk around South Philly in my Crosby jersey. Oh, thank God. But I'll let you in on a little secret. What's that? I still like the Flyers. What? Yeah, uh, I just like Pittsburgh for sentimental reasons. Yeah, I went to college there, and okay. that's when I first got into hockey, so. Actually, first I got into sports at all to begin with. Okay, well that, uh, that makes way more sense now. You know what? I'll remove your strike. <laughs> As for me, I, um, you know, I was raised around sports. And then I went to Penn State where, you know, football is life. Wait, you went to Penn State? Yeah. Oh, I always wish I went there. Oh, really? Have you ever been up there? No, but I would love to. Well, I go up there a few times a year. I used to go to games or walk around and reminisce. I'd be more than happy to take you. <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> but Sam would never allow it. And even if Ethan came, it would just turn into a huge disaster. So, um, you know, where do we go from here? What do you mean? Clearly we have feelings for each other. And we can't act on those feelings because it wouldn't be fair to Sam and Ethan. No, no, I'm not suggesting that at all. I just mean, like, we continue our friendship or you know, stop talking because feelings could become uh, too much. Well, one thing for certain is that I don't want to lose you. 
even if that means just being friends. I think we can make it work, you know, being friends and putting our feelings aside. Yeah, I mean, um, it's going to be tough, but uh, I want to try as well. And I'm not saying that we should break up with our current boyfriends, but if in the future, you know, sometime we're both single, then maybe we can take things a little further. I can get on board with that. Um, but I'll be honest, I hope the future is soon. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. So, do you have to get back to work soon? Um, no, actually, all my meetings were moved to the afternoon, so I'm good for a while. What about you? When does Ethan get back? Uh, not for a few hours, apparently. All right, well, do you want to go for a walk or something? I would love to get to know you better. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds perfect. Oh. 